right, DeWalt's DCF 850 compact atomic 20 volt brushless. It's only 20 volts as it stands now, but as soon as you pull the trigger, it's 18 volts. And I'm sure they did 20 volts because I think Milwaukee or TTI has the patent for 18 volt tools. So if you if a company makes an 18 volt tool cordless, then they have to give uh, TTI some money because that's how capitalism works. Anyways, so this is DeWalt's newest, latest and greatest, I believe. Uh, I got the five amp hour battery. I bought this as a bear tool. I have a few Milwaukee tools. I am very partial to Milwaukee. You'll see, well, we're gonna do a couple of comparisons with this tool and Gen 3 Impact. This is the big boy. Well, this is Gen 3. This is top of the line as far as torque's concerned, except for maybe one or two of them because this has been out for like three years or so. But this is just, just came out not too long ago, a couple of months ago. And yeah, 140 foot pounds from other channels testing it. Um, and then you got 160 foot pounds, give or take. Now, if you keep impacting it over like 10, 15 seconds, you're gonna get more, but we don't ever do that. In my, in my, in my job sites, it's, you know, we're, we're less than 10 seconds for sure. Driving impact, uh, driving lag bolts, and definitely def tech screws for less than that. So a couple things. I always like uh, DeWalt's grips. It's fantastic. Uh, they're, they are a little, I guess, uh, a little more refined than Milwaukee's grips. Their triggers, their variable speed trigger is um, better than Milwaukee's. Now, Milwaukee's Achilles heel for pretty much all their impacts, even the ones behind me, that, oh, you can't see them, is the trigger. This will fail. I have to send it in. I've got one right now that's already, is actually at the repair center. Milwaukee's, you know, e-repair service getting repaired. I have four or five of these that's how much i like these that's how much i use impacts very very in love with impacts this is the newest and latest and greatest to the collection i will be keeping this this is very tiny very tiny um it is and the power is there i mean 140 foot pounds that's 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 good enough for me i have a lot of i bought this as a bear tool i have a lot of dual batteries already 20 volt the 18 20 volt ones and yeah, it's gonna be an asset. So we'll get into uh, just some demonstrations, but a couple things about this. If two pounds with just the tool itself. Um, you got the three LED lights right there, you can see, which is far better than Milwaukee's one LED light. Um, I, I do like this right here. Those those three, those tri-LEDs are fantastic. More light, the better. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else, this tool, there's not much else to really um, compare. Oh, the uh, call it, you pull it out, uh, put you know you pull it out just like that and it actually a quick release pops out so that I do love Milwaukee's not like that you pull you you can see if you pull it out it doesn't pop out you've got to actually pull it out and then yank it out so uh, it's, you know you just yeah that's gonna that's that's that went kind of in a different direction than I wanted it to but that I do like that is that's just useful come on Milwaukee that is just that's just useful I do like that in my tools and um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an impact. It's tiny having the little extra space, you know, being so small, the little extra space, um, that's going to matter, you know, cabinets getting into some spaces, that's going to matter. Um, I use the, you know, five amp hour here just for the testing, but you can put a smaller battery. They got those stackers coming and definitely would definitely recommend those. Cause I had some hands on with that and they look like, um, give me some good tech technology. That's what I do like about DeWalt. DeWalt's always like pretty much. The first to market with the cordless tools, but, they, but then Milwaukee and Makita come out with better of the same thing, basically. So they'll have more refined. So great um, example of that is uh, we got the nailers back here. Uh, I had all of DeWalt's nailers when they first came out because they were first to market with them. But Hitachi and my Milwaukee's action, the Milwaukee's are way back there. They're, they came out with better technology and they actually work better enough to where it actually pays for themselves. So very good. This is, I think this is like the first actual new ground up impact from DeWalt in like probably like seven, eight years, I want to say something like that. So they don't release new tools or they don't do revamps very often, but when they do, I think it's a pretty much a home run. So now I think like 3,200 impacts per minute on, on number three, I don't use one or two at all. So you're going to have to find a different video if you guys want uh, testing and stuff on one and two. I use three. We're going to drive screws, all that good stuff, and impacts, decking, all that kind of stuff with impact with these uh, 
Yeah, the impact set at number three. Same thing with my uh, Milwaukee. It's always going to be on three, and unless it for some reason gets it gets you know um, bumped or something like that, then we always swap it out to number three because we just need the torque. That's why I have these little quarter inch hex impacts because I like torque and they're fantastic. They are awesome, 150%. So we'll run some more footage. Like and subscribe, you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, this tool, also another thing going for it, it's only 100 bucks. I think, at Home Depot. I got with a, my 10% discount, so I'm out the door for between 80 and 90 bucks for this thing, uh, which, bear tool, obviously. Uh, and that's absolutely, that's phenomenal for this tool. Um, I, think, I think this one still runs about 150. I might be able to get it for like 130 or so. Um, that's, you know, coming from Home Depot, whatnot. But, I mean, it, it, we're talking, let me take the battery off of this, baby. That, this is what you're getting right there for the 130. So you're getting the bare tool. So still worth the money. These are fantastic. Like I said, I have four of these. They are the bread and butter of this business pretty much. And But would I, would I like them at this price point? Absolutely. So for 140 foot-pounds, this is going to do pretty much everything I need it to do at a lower price point. So that's DeWalt's right, just home run for that. So appreciate you guys. We got an eight inch and a four inch or a six inch right here. Alright, let's do the tried and true Gen 3 Milwaukee just in case.